every last one of y'all. And I'm not even talking to you, baby girl, because listen, do your thing. Take care of your business. Create your content. I'm all for it. Get your money. Get your content. I'm with it. But you are a representation of what we don't want because we tired of y'all with these sassy ass attitudes, talking back and forth, telling us what it is that you supposed to do or what you want. You don't even know what's best for you. You supposed to have somebody covering you. But because you out of pocket, it's so easy for you to sit there and talk like you know what you're talking about. When in reality, you making yourself look like a fool and you less attractive every single day, the more that you open up your mouth. And I don't even blame these guys for going out there and getting a passport. I don't blame these guys for going out there and getting a passport. You know why? Because they going where they celebrated and not where they tolerated. Why should a man think about this for one second? Why should a man? subject themselves to and make themselves open to women that don't appreciate them when we're already at the top of the food chain. When I gave y'all the game and I said that men need to be marrying or if they decide to get into a marriage, go into a relationship based off of where they're going, not necessarily where they at. And then why would they make themselves available to you at the end of the finish line? I'm talking to y'all. I'm talking to you. You. What you think that these women, that these guys meet at the top of the hierarchy and then y'all want to get mad at them and say, oh man, I can't believe that he's talking to a white woman. Ask yourself this. Anytime that you are the one that's the loser, usually what you're supposed to do is do a self-reflection to understand why you're not the one that's getting picked. This word pick me. I see this word pick me going viral every other month. It starts to come back up. Oh, she a pick me or she a pick me. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Ain't you supposed to get picked? Doesn't the word of God and y'all keep saying that y'all pray every single church that y'all go to is filled with women, but don't nobody got no understanding. Can't nobody actually understand what the fuck the preacher is saying. And maybe the preacher is a simp himself. I seen Kirk Franklin up there on Shannon Sharp's live stream talking about and trying to convince y'all to pay for everything just by default. What? What? Really what he was saying is, hey, guys, go over there and be misused by women that truly don't appreciate you and is willing to monkey branch as soon as something happened to you. As soon as something happened to you, why are we even having this conversation with regard to 50-50? When did you start to be able to have an opinion as to what it is that you're supposed to be subjecting yourself to when it comes to a relationship? I never read that part in the Bible. But all of y'all in church every single day, making up your own rules, you might as well write your own word. Stop calling yourself a Christian. Stop saying that you subject yourself to the will of God. Because I don't see nowhere in the, in the scriptures where it say that you're supposed to pick out your husband. It said that he that findeth a wife findeth a good thing. So the question that you should be asking yourself is, am I really a wife? Fuck no. You're not asking. Your, see, you having the wrong conversations. You keep saying, well, I need to find a man. He never said that. Why you keep calling yourself something and being a part of something that you're not subjecting yourself to and being unquestionably unquestionably obedient? Obedience is better than sacrifice, meaning that if you did what you were supposed to do, you would get the results. But no, you don't get the results. And you know why? Because you're too busy running your fucking mouth and having conversations with misunderstanding and leading a bunch of other women down the path of destruction. Keep talking about finding a man, finding a partner. Where the fuck do we say partner inside of the word of God? I ain't never read that scripture. Maybe I'm off. I have never read the scripture where it says you need to find a partner or that you are even on the same level as a man. Now, if you an atheist or you just don't even believe in God, then, hey, I excuse you. Do whatever it is that you want to do. But if you sitting here and having a conversation talking about what it is that women should do, I didn't even know women were supposed to subject themselves to or being a part of leadership in the first place. We're, listen, you so out of pocket, not only are you not supposed to be in the pulpit preaching, I'm just telling you what the word of God said. Don't sit here and get mad at me. I'm telling you what the word say. Not only are you not supposed to be in positions of leadership telling people what they're supposed to do, but you also not even supposed to be looking for a man. And you don't even know the terms by which words mean things to where you're supposed to subject yourself to something. So now you got a bunch of women leading and a bunch of women into destruction. And then they're going to sit here and have a conversation about why it is that you decided to get your passport. And not only are they going to do that, they're going to sit there and lambast you as a result of it. They're going to call you corny. And here's my thing to the guys. 
Why do you fucking care about whether or not a woman calls you corny as though what she says mean anything? She going to be by her. Listen, family, she on a buy now, pay later payment plan and she asking Biden for forgiveness, dog. Why do you care about what the lowest common denominator on a socioeconomic ladder care about you? When did we start caring about what the person that's at the bottom rung of the socioeconomic ladder cares about what they say? That's like me going to the hood and then them laughing at me about what it is type of sweater I got. They don't even know what this sweater is. They have no clue. They're not from the 90s. They don't understand. They don't understand that I can buy and sell your ashy ass with just what's on the upper half on my body. Glasses, watch, shirt. You can't afford none of them. It's all out of your price range. On average, the average person don't even have $500 to $1,000 in order to be able to save themselves. But you sitting here worrying about what a bunch of women think. You think I give a fuck about what these women think? I speak to a demographic of people that actually is trying to level up and get the best results. And so even the people that's listening to this, you're not even supposed to be offended if it's something that hits you. You're supposed to just change. I ain't worried about what nobody thinking about. I'm covered. I'm covered. You know why? Because I truly live in my purpose and I'm focused on the things that's supposed to be or the, or the things that I'm supposed to be focused on. I'm not even fucking focused on no woman. You think I'm sitting here focused on what my wife is talking about? Her job is to focus on me. That's why she got the Porsche uh, two days ago. Her job is to focus on me. My job is to focus on my purpose. My daughter's job is to focus on what the fuck her mama told her to do because I gave her mama the blueprint and the game on how it is that we supposed to manage our household. There's a hierarchy. When everybody does their job successfully, everybody wins. Everybody gets bonuses. Everybody gets cards. Everybody gets success. Everybody gets the, the blue ribbon and we all can share in the fruits and the successes that come along with playing your position. But you out of pocket. You out of pocket, you out of, your, you out of your element, and you think that you can compete against us? Let me give you a little bit of insight, and I'm going to really help you to understand what's about to happen. I'm going to break it down for you so you have no misunderstanding of what's going to happen. You thought that you were on our level, but winter is already here. And when I say winter, I'm not even talking about the weather. I'm talking about what it is that you're going to have to subject yourself to for the rest of your life. Unfortunately, there is no help coming from you. There are no more forgiveness loans and no more stimulus packages that's going to be able to bridge the gap between where it is that you are. What men go through in, as far as understanding what it is that we got to deal with and knowing that there's no safety net is the thing that makes us stronger. We got to be thrown out to the wolves and prove ourselves. But what we make in ourselves, what we also understand along the way is that our fathers were simps. I was looking at a woman and she did a live stream. I'm sorry. She did a TikTok and an Instagram. And I dropped that video today and she said, these are the five type of guys that don't mind providing for you. And one of the things that was on her list is guys that's born before 1990. Let me bring you up to speed, baby girl. Guys born before 1990. The majority of them were simps.